Hello everybody and welcome to another stream. Today we are going to continue with our Star Citizen playthrough. Now, of course we got the issue of um, not having any um, ability to refuel. So that's what we were stuck on yesterday. Uh, so we're going to try make some money because all our money's tied into the ship which we can't refuel and we can't move so we're going to see what we can do today to maybe the server will last to refuel um let's have a let's jump in and check now yesterday for some reason i don't know if i was in the r service i was in the looked like i was in the usa service so i'm actually going to force it to go into the australia service which gives me the lowest ping so we'll see what uh, what can happen there. Let's jump in and see what we can do today. Might actually try do the 890 jump mission. I'm not sure. Oh, we're going to try um, running various things to um, do stuff. Right, so where are we? I'm not sure where we are. Okay, let's um, do this. Our uh, display info. Just going to have one. And there we go. 134. Okay, so it appears now we are in the Australian service. Yesterday we were at 280 
thing, so that was US servers, I believe. Oh, we had Alisa. Nice. Oh, that's right. Yesterday we we got back to Alisa because we wanted to buy a new gun, and the one place I knew buy a new gun was at Alisa. I mean, we could go to Grim Hex and all that sort of stuff. But let's um, let's get our ship and go to Person L4. That's where our caterpillar is. We're going to get it over there and we're going to see if we can. We can see if we can. Uh, oh. let's, should we take the Raven? No, we, no, we take the we take the um, Pisces again. Why not? Yeah, yeah, there, there you go. Person L four. That's where we've got to go. Hmm. There we are. Just whoops. Shit. Um, oh, you know what? It's good. Let's take. Let's take something cool. Let's take the car to L. Take the car to L and we go to person 4. A07. That way. Now, oh, yeah, the I that I am looking forward to the Sankar Fiat because that is what the cartel should have been. The cartel is a lot less than what it should have been. Now, with all my CCUs and all this sort of stuff, I am not paying that. Yeah, I didn't pay the Santoc Yag prices at all. Still one of the best looking ships in my opinion. Except for one thing. It's an alien ship with all this magnetic technology. Like I mean look at this. I mean look at look at these things. So it's got all that. Surely they would have had something that makes it a little bit more seamless with the um, struts. I mean, that's just too goddamn much. Like the small thin ones, fine, but these big thick ones. <sighs> Have the seat magnetically hold up. So you wouldn't need the big bubbles. You know? Use the alien technology. Use it. Alright, so let's um fire up this. Systems activating. Systems on. I think this is still the uh Vandal UI. So that still requires some stuff. Okay, so let's um She's a beauty. Huh. Here we go. Alright, so this is Thank where you. it gets cool. This is where it gets really cool. Switch out of landing gear. Seriously, that is. I love that. I love that. Problem is, it's fighting things is going to be a bit hard now. If this had like another two size threes at the bottom, it would be great. But just two does make it a little bit crappy. All right. So, oops, no, wrong one. And 
and the sound that this craft makes as well is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's the maneuver. Oh, fuck. Somebody um, EMP'd me. Holy crap, somebody EMP'd me. What the hell happened there? This... Let's have a look here now. Uh, we want to go to Hurston L4. That's all the way there. No, oh, she's we all up here together. Well, he's hot with. Right now, I wonder if they've changed the way this one works as well. the quantum of the quantum travel of the alien ships is different to the ones of the human ships this effect is new hey mr windu how are you doing mr windu it's the windu jackson everybody He's not a snuffle wizard. He is a he is a Jackson that likes to window. If you have any windows that you need done, this is the Jackson for you. <laughs> How was the Witcher? Were you enjoying it? Were you enjoying that Witcher, uh, snuffle? I, I can't help it. I, I, it is such. It is such a good. You killed the griffin! Nice! It is such a good, um... Such a good game. I was actually started playing it again for the second time. 
When do the Jackson formerly known as w- Wizard the Sniffle? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's so sorry, so I, I, it's like, hey, but even twerk, I still call twerk twerk. It's hard to call him. Uh, Salty Mike, that's it. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, it looks beautiful. The planets look absolutely gorgeous. The graphics are... Pff, stunning. Gameplay... Well, let's put it this way. I can't refuel any of my craft. I literally can't refuel any of my craft because... Um, because there's a bug that doesn't allow you to refuel. So I I bought all my credits. Oh, are we nearly there? I'd... Uh, Use up all my credits to fill up the caterpillar with stuff and it couldn't make it so i stopped to refuel and i can't refuel so the only way is to reclaim my ship and then i lose all my stuff so you know all the things i bought to sell so it's like you know constant things like that um but stability wise the game is definitely a lot more stable than it's ever been and yeah, slowly and surely new stuff is coming in but at the still it's still just in my opinion it's still just a an awesome technical demo you know um cohesive gameplay and stuff like that it's not there yet it's still not there yet Oh, did you see the uh, the release day Squadron Forty Two visual teaser? Yeah, the visual teaser. I I saw that this morning, and graphically, one thing I have never I have never said about Star Citizen is that it's not a pretty game. It doesn't have good graphics. That's the one thing I've consistently said it has. And they just prove visually it looks stunning. But again, that means that's. You know what? You can have the best. Like, okay, so take for example the new Star Wars movies. Visually, they look great. You know, the, the, the scenes and the CGI and all this stuff is brilliant. It doesn't change it from from them being shitty movies and really just crap story crap everything else this is beautiful but we've yet to see anything more than that as far as i'm concerned squadron 42 we've got no idea how it runs we've seen some visual things which make it look beautiful and stunning and um and fight me bro if you say it doesn't look good but um until we actually have gameplay which we definitely don't have in this the combat in currently in star citizen is is absolute poop the space combat it just feels so awful yeah again you don't you just you know until that's there's real gameplay and stuff like that you can't say whether it's going to be good or not. All you can say is it's beautiful. The new van, exactly the new van of designs and everything else. They look, they look great. I mean, you know, it's um. I mean, look at that. That's oh, and they've got the new stations here. You know, the new um, rest stops and things like that. And yeah, again, looks absolutely great. The sound of the ship makes is... (laughs) 
when you fly in this ship, listen to it, it like roars. And I literally, the ship literally roars. You just sound so good. Anyway, the um, so th this is the new, this is the new rest stop and that sort of stuff. And I mean, they are, you know, so you know, the core is slowly developing, but. Yeah, I'm still a little bit iffy on the gameplay. Oh, it is. Absolutely. Deltron, 100%. The, what they did, what they sold the car to us, and what they actually delivered, was such crap. And, I mean, the little respect I had for Lesnick, the little bit of respect I also went out, completely out the window. That guy was an absolute um, pile of shit. There is no other way to describe. With with him coming and saying, you know, talking about this, and then, and then, when people complain, what is the second seat? What happened to the guns? Uh, nobody knew that the artist or or the artist. Or what the uh, the artist designed in making the ship. Nobody knew that he took the other seat out. Nobody knew it. How? Oh, I mean, seriously, if you're gonna lie, at least make it something believable. Everybody knows how OCD and over controlling CR is about this sort of stuff. You know, um, they could have let people know way before they released it and everything else. Uh, the reason I've got one is because I got the, uh, I've got, I've got the Santa Kiai, which, which I did not play the sticker price for. I used, uh, what do you call it? I used CCUs and stuff like that. So the mod value of my Santa Kiai is I think a hundred and fifteen and it's got some good guns well oh, hopefully it's got good guns that's what it's sold I don't think they can get away with doing it again they'll try but I don't think they can and um, but the, the way the ship flies is is really awesome Okay, so we... Oh, there's a ship there. Can we try and get this guy? So these are the new stations. That guy's taken up to the wood. Um, actually, let me just have a look at this. And this maybe glass I really don't like. Oh, take that one. Um, sure, let's try to fight him. Skigler. Can I find him?
Oh, conch! Kevin, I can't find him because it's the armistice zone. Um. Uh, yeah. What the fuck? What the hell's going on with my engines? Weapons off. Systems activating. Systems off. Why is that voice happening? I can't, I, I can't shoot him because I'm in the I'm frickin' armistice zone. <sighs> Alright, so let's... Shield's critical. Okay. Well, let's try. Let's try. Uh, let's ask for landing. Go land. You can't do anything against that guy. Oh, there. Oh. Now, best thing about the ship, watch this. It folds up, it's brilliant. It's so good. Flying. Although, yeah, I mean the landing gear is out, but I don't see why you can't. I don't think so. Let's try this. F1. Yep. You see, you can't do any of the shit. You can't refuel any of your craft. Now people say, oh, hover above or do this or do you. None of that. I haven't got had a single thing that's been able to work for me. This is called the Car2L. Uh, it was uh, supposed to be um, a two-seater scout, 
Uh, it's basically turned into a single seat like fighter. Essentially, it's um, it's it's a really nice looking ship. You know, it's and the thing is with the alien technology, it um, the way the engines it's got no thrusters. It's just like four main engines that swivel all over the place. So it can go as fast backwards as it can forwards as it can left as it can right up down <clears throat> the way that they've they're doing it is they're changing the um they changing the flight model so that human craft which are main thrust craft you know can go forward fast but they can't, you know, strafe left or right or up or down, sort of, as well as they used to. So this doesn't have any of those. I mean, you can go full speed, strafing left as fast as you can going forward, as fast as you can going backwards. So it's a really, um, that's kind of the one special thing of it. But is it worth the price that you pay for it? Absolutely, 100%. Not even close. Now, there is another version that they released called uh, the Santa Kiai, which is kind of a medium fighter. It's got the same sort of loadout as the Sabre. And... Um, that's actually the one I've got. That's why I've got that one as a loner. But again, worth the price? No. But through clever CCUs and stuff like that, able to get it for a lot, lot less. And at the moment, all I do with my ships is I shift around money or credits I've got in the game to get various... Um, <clears throat> various ships and my actual my fleet the price of my fleet is going up but I'm not putting more money in simply because I've been a backer since 2013 right so this is one of the new um, rest stops that they've got and I mean they Yep, they fixed the AI. <laughs> the AI is completely fixed. So, what well, well, sucks they're able to have way more AI doing proper AI stuff. <clears throat> I'd be very sarcastic in case you haven't noticed. Yeah, the AI, the AI is still a pile of uh, pile of poop. But I mean, the big stations are in. All these big stations. <laughs> we don't use we don't use sarcasm on this channel, ever. It's just not something we do. Now, interesting enough, all the the rest of relaxations actually have easy hands. So what that means is. If I log out now, this is where I will spawn on the rest station. So, you know, before it was kind of the main planet bases. Now you can sort of log off in space and stuff like that. Now they do have a food port in here if I can find it. I haven't found anywhere over here to buy guns. You can buy armor. You can buy clothes. Oh, that's the... Oh, so that's the security area. Mm. Ah, yeah, it's the floor. They so see you've got your... Oh, I want to buy new quantum things, see if I can get that. 
Oh fuck, the Ark of the Ark have got guns! I was searching all over for this place. <sighs> I'm just saying that you couldn't have it. That wasn't there. I'm 100% positive that wasn't there yesterday. We can buy hot dogs. And there's a bar here. I didn't see any of this shit yesterday. Uh, now where is... Admin? Oh, and there's kind of these... Um, to pay for your fines and stuff like that, you can do it over here. You don't need to... Um, you don't need to kind of go to uh, Korea to do that stuff. Um, and big ship guns. I really don't remember seeing this stuff. However, I don't think I would want to buy anything for the ships because... Yeah, I don't know if I want to buy anything for any of the ships simply because you can't refill them. So you have to blow them up and then you lose the stuff. I wonder though... I wonder if... Um, caterpillar. Quantum drive. Size three. Great three. Pontos. Okay, so I wonder if I can. But he size size three quantum drive. So let's see a trading console. Okay, so let's go on to Quantum Drive. Size 1 only. And there's 29,000 UC which I don't have anyway. Okay, so we can't buy the stuff there. Um, now where's the food court? Am I the right place? Huh. It must be the right place. Okay, so now each station, of course, is different because it's prestigiously generated the insides and outsides. Well, is it three for three years? That's that one. Okay, I don't know where the pre-court is. We're sorry. You've exceeded the allotted time to depart. We will have to return your ship to storage. Interesting. I don't know where it is. Okay, but now what I want to try to do is I want to try to spawn my caterpillar. And I'm going to try another trick which somebody says might work. Is when you spawn it, jump into the seat but don't actually turn it on. So let's do that. Let's 
your ship is being delivered to the following landing pad. Okay, where are you being delivered? Tell me, tell me now. And there are two. Hmm. Okay, what is that? My tank and suit is red. Oh. You know why? Because it got the it's got the UI colors from from the car 2L. Hey Superfly! Sorry, did, why didn't I see you say hello to me earlier? That's rude. Now this is the mighty caterpillar. The textures, which I thought they said they were fixing the textures are still not quite right. But we, this thing is full of cargo. That's kind of my issue. Is all my money is tied into this cargo on this ship. And I can't refuel it. So I can't actually take it anywhere. So, I mean, if we look over here... Right, so, as you can see, it's filled with cargo. I have to go actually upstairs. So you can kind of see, oh, oh, um. okay, so you can see it's got all cargo in the, in the first block, we've got cargo in the second block, we've got cargo in the third block, and then we've got cargo in the last block, yeah, to the front block. So it's filled with cargo except for one area that is not. And so that's where all my money is invested in moving cargo. But I can't refill my ship, so I can't actually go anywhere. <sighs> Alright. So now let me try this. I'm sitting in the seat, the ship's not on. The ship's not on. Um, so let's put this up. Yeah, I can't. I can't refuel. Turn it on. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary. Let's try it again. I can't refuel. Right now there was another trick that people said. If you hover just above above it. Launch complete. Okay, so that's hovering just above. Literally hovering just above now. Yep. All right. And let's see if we can. Where's another place we can fly to? Try a different place. But this one, I want to go to Delamar. That's where I want to go, but I can't. So 
that's good. Is it look at this? She's a nice ship. But like I said, this game, absolutely gorgeous. And it is a great, it's a great tech demo. Can't wait for this to be a working game. That's, that's kind of my takeaway. All right, so. Now, since we can't refuel, I want to go to Delamar. We had a Hurston L4. See, look at that. 20. We can't make it. Can I go to Crusader 5? Can't make it. Can I go to Hurston? And Deadball Nerd, thank you for the follow and welcome to the Alien Army. So I can't actually... <sighs> See, that's kind of my problem. Is I'm trying to go there. I can't refuel. Is there any way to change this? Can I? Jump back here? No, can I jump back here? Tried hovering. Tried, um, tried hovering multiple times. Tried climbing to the ship without it. The only thing I can possibly do is claim my ship. But if I do that, I'll lose all the stuff in the ship. So... It's... It's, it's terrible. It's... it's. I mean, this is why... You know, this is why... I will never regard this... When people say, Oh, it's a great game, you should buy it, you should play... Blah, blah, blah. I will never regard this as a game. I regard this as a tech demo until such time that it is actually a game. Because it's not a game. You know, it's um... That's just not. Right, so let's... Okay, so we can't actually go anywhere. We, can't, we don't have the fuel to get anywhere, so we might as well go back to the thing unless I just blow the ship up. But then I lose all the cash, and I don't want to lose all the cash that I've got. Everything is invested in here. I can't sell it on the station. <sighs> That's just so frustrating. And the thing is, apparently this is a known thing that's been there for a while. If it's been there for a while, why isn't it? And yeah, don't give me the... And I don't want to hear the alpha. It's only alpha crap. Because this was known in PTO the whole lot. I mean, this basically makes the game... Unplayable and untestable. Yeah, it's... Besides the other, the other problems that it's got. Alright, so... We tried the new the new thing of getting there and not turning the ship on 
and trying to refuel that way. That didn't work. <sighs> Should we try not requesting landing? Trying to go onto a pad, hover above it, and try refuel? Hey Flan, a very unhappy person. A very unhappy person who's for three days has been trying to refuel his caterpillar. And <laughs> can't refuel his caterpillar. It is so frustrating. Right, so we're not going to request landing. We can't get into the big landing base. Um, can we try... Can we try this... One of these smaller ones over here. Are there smaller ones that we can try land on? We can't really land on the smaller ones, can we? Let's, let's try, yeah, let's try see if we can, that's a fairly big one. Should we see if we can try sort of land here? Let's see if we can refuel. I mean, we're just trying everything we can to try refill. Hovering just above that.
Launch complete. Landing complete. Launch complete. Let's try going to another one. So that didn't work. We tried that one now. We tried the hovering above, didn't work. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Right, where's the assigned landing bay? Let's hear from the outside. Oh, there you go. Alright, so this is one that we've got access to. Um, okay, so go forward. Uh, come down. Not quite landed. Let's just. Oh crap! Hover above. Right. Turn the engine off. Um, I'll do that. Nope, I uh, can't do that. Alright, um... So... 
absolutely zero way of um, yeah, zero way of uh, refueling. I've tried all the different ways. You can't. Oops. Just can't refuel. Now that is good gameplay. So, basically, if you're doing any sort, if you, I mean, I was, I never done the trading. I was going to try the trading. Um, well, you pretty much can't. So trading is out. So the only thing you can possibly do now is mining. Because the the dog fighting is crap. You, yeah, so you can just do the the basic um, patch missions. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. There's all this whole big universe, and you can't do shit in it because the bugs say no. So, Flan, I am frustrated with this game in many ways. In many, many, many ways. And I'm sorry, all the fanboys that say buy this, don't, it's not ready. When there's actually, when it gets a lot further on development and there actually is gameplay that works, then you can sort of look at it. But at the moment, don't waste your money. Unless you want to, unless you want to alpha or beta test, I mean, unless you want to alpha test a tech demo, then by all means, get it. But then buy the absolute bare minimum package. Right, so what have we got here? Was there a quick port? Was there a quick port? Was there? Alright, so um Alright, so we can't we can't do anything with the caterpillar. So that's out. I don't wanna claim it because it's pointless, we would lose everything. Uh, so let's see what other missions we can actually do. We've got the delivery missions, which are... If you're available to run a ship from Bocini to Arcorp... Um, Everest Harbour to Hurston... Uh, mercenary... Investigation... Uh, these would be caves. That does work. Mm. Hurston. Kevin Hurston. No, uh, on side. The cave on Daymar. So beat the Daymar. We've done this one, the Daymar Cave. What about this? A minor place, a big order for a new dig. I mean. Sure, let's try this. At uh, near Crusader. I've never done this one like this. What is it? And search the site. Mining claim. Okay.
go to mining claim 2JRIH Right. Oh, so we're going to need a combat ship for that. Oh, so let's try that. I mean, it's probably going to require a combat ship. The question is, which one should we use? No, I can use a Sentinel. It's probably not. I really dislike the Hornets. Cutlass is over there. Oh, let's try the one, why not? I haven't flown a Hornet in a while. Your ship has been delivered to the following That's... I don't know why I've got that Hornet, actually. I have no idea why I do have a Hornet. I think it's a, it must be a, a loner for something. Pad 3. I don't know what guns it's got. I mean, it's got all default guns and stuff like that. I haven't bothered ever. Well, I can't. I've got no. I've got all my money side up in the caterpillar, which I can't use. So I've made back about six thousand. So I've got like zero cash. So I can't upgrade any guns or anything like that. can't refuel so you have to destroy your ship every time you want to refuel it um, yeah so you have to refuel your ship every time you want to use it so that's so because insurance is the basic factory settings <laughs> it becomes a real issue trying to so I just don't bother buying the stuff yet. Super Hornet. It's got a fair amount of guns. So we should be alright. Uh, I'm not sure if they gimbaled or not. Um, oh, so we go to that claim. Right there. Set L one. Yeah, it's gonna use half my field to get there. Uh, yeah, we won't be able to fly back. So I'll have to try get to a station nearby there and then destroy the ship and claim another ship. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I'm sorry.
Yo, you see other people. Other people can't read really feel. You can see it up in the in the chat there, which you can't read because the UI is so good. So let me fix that. Uh, why would that work now? Really? Uh, okay, I can't. Oh, there is gas working. Yeah, I, I don't know. The Hornet's just been one of those ships that hasn't really appealed to me in any way. Not that it's bad looking or anything like that. I think it's got to do with, with uh, a while ago um, when the game first came out before anything was, you know, and the Cutlass was in such a bad position. There were a lot of um, Hornet pilots especially talking out of their ass, and it kind of put me off their horn completely. I don't think it's a bad ship. But I do prefer the Sabre. The Sabre was the ship I, I liked for combat. But I suppose now the Horn is the better ship for combat because you can have all gimbaled items on it. And the combat today is he who has gimbals wins. Which is, you know, which is a pretty bad state of affairs. It's kind of removed a lot of the skill out of the combat that was in the 2.6 series. 2.4? It was somewhere around there where the combat was really very skill based. Now it's not so much. Which hopefully they'll get back to the uh, to the skill based mechanics of it. I hope. If they don't uh, I think it's gonna it will ruin a lot of Squadron 42. By not having a good sort of space combat. Okay, so. How far are we still got to go? At least the one good thing is at least it doesn't take 15 minutes to fly between planets now. So that's a good thing. And yeah, I mean, one of the things, you know, one of the things about this is, oh, well, why are you so salty about the game and blah blah blah? It's because we we see the potential. We want something, you know. We want them to concentrate on things that actually make the game better. Adding more pretty graphics, it's nice, but it doesn't make the gameplay better. You know, it's like you look at something like um, Astroneer. It's got really cutesy graphics, but the gameplay is great. Um, there's a lot of games uh, that you know don't have the best graphics but the gameplay is core cool. this one it just feels like they're focusing on the graphics more than anything else and that's where the disconnect is I mean we want a good game you know good game is not does not always equal the best graphics. Gra good graphics 
or a bonus. They're not the um, be all and end all of everything. I mean, take Hellion for example. The graphics were fairly, fairly okay, but the ga the gameplay was excellent. Problem with that was the bugs. It had way too many bugs that they weren't able to nail down. But the game, but the gameplay that was there, as far as I'm concerned, was light years ahead of this. It just felt more. You know, the space felt like you were in space. This is this definitely has got a. Um, how can I put it? It's got a sense of scale, an incredible sense of scale. So they've got the, They've got that right. So let's have a look. Okay, lasers and right. Can now can you gimbal? Oh, there you go. Was our okay? So we're flying towards that claim. Now again, I only use the default loadouts and stuff like that because it's way too much effort in the game to actually change stuff and keep it. Note the keep it. I mean, and look at the glare on the on the on the windscreen. Why? You get anti-glare windows today. All the scratch marks on it. Why? <laughs> you know, it's like. Argh. Things like that are frustrating. Kilometers from there. I mean, I do try. I do try and play a week. You know, when there's a big patch, going live, not PTU. Going live, I do try play a week in the game. I mean, you know, since the patches have become stable, a lot more stable and playable. I do, you know, try to spend a week in the game, but sometimes it's really difficult. Shields are critical. Dying. I honestly don't know what I don't know what happens there.
I actually don't know what happens there, but anyway. That's the game. So, let's try again. This is why I kind of hate combat in this game now. I used to love comedy, it used to be my favorite part. In, um, in Elite, space combat, absolutely favorite part. This game, Space Combat, used to be my favorite part. Now it is... Not. Uh. Okay, so... Sentinel doesn't do any damage because of the um, distortion cannons being broken so that's out tree can retrieve it your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad but how did I thought the ship was blown up now how can I retrieve it straight away Hmm. Zero sense. But hey. Unfortunately, our automated system is unable to access that ship at this time. We apologize for any inconvenience. Please try again later, or select a different ship. Okay. That's it for tree. Yeah, so maybe it's broken. I don't know. Let's check that one then. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Head three. Yeah, so the thing is, um, people, the the streamers that play this often know what all the bugs, bugs are, know how to avoid them, know what to do and stuff like that, but for normal people that don't play it constantly, it's a, uh, it is kind of a, a, what do you call it? The practice of frustration. A lesson in absolute frustration. The arms don't just my weapons. I don't even know what weapons I've got. Uh. Right, so I've got crap weapons. Right. That's what we got, that's what we're gonna have to deal with. 
Um, Yes, everybody's kind of having, you can see in the player chat, everybody's having problems. Nothing's working like it should. It's kind of always the patch, the patch before New Year's or the release before New Year's is always the, the biggest mess. Which is unfortunate because that's when people play it the most. That's when they're on holiday and they want to play it the most, and it's always the worst patch. I didn't have a lot of these problems in 3.7. Right, so we got those guns. Let's have a look at what we got. One missile. Weapon slot three. Star three Gatlings. Right now. Right, so if I look at this Sentinel. Weaponry. The, the size suit distortion repeaters, these are the ones at the top. They just don't work. Oh no, where's my distortion repeater? That's two. They're distortions and sucker punch. So useless. I think this is a better ship than, but I can't really change the weapons because if it gets blown up, all my weapons are gone. Or if I need to claim it because it's out of fuel, all the weapons are gone. So that's why I just got zero interest in, you know, in actually kidding this out. I mean, where's the cutlass? The cutlass has got a fairly good weapon loadout.
Ah, close are we? Okay, so 500. 500,000 kilometers away. And let's um, try to kill those things again. Maybe we'll have to do them from a distance. I don't know. Maybe I can see what's going on with my ship when it's actually happening. How close were we last time? Um, don't know. We're 40 or 50 kilometers. But well, there's a space station there. Do you know what I'm going to do actually? I'm going to go land at that space station. So if I do die, I will respawn over there, and then I will claim my cutlass. I will claim claim my cutlass, and so I can be much closer to it. Yeah, that makes sense. even using the killer. That might work. Uh, Alright, so let's have F1. Contact. Request landing. Okay, so which is a sign landing bay? going to land that. Landing complete. Engines off 
All right, so we're going to do here, yeah, and then I'm going to um, <coughs> call on sort of use the thing, use the console to get the other ships close by here. Yeah. One's at Levski, one's at another place. And so if we do die, we're close to we're close to the mission. See, I can don't know if you've actually called the ship or not. Or you called the elevator. There needs to be some sort of indication. Like a, a flashing button or something like that, or or the button remaining green. You know, like you got with a proper elevator, when you press the button, it lights up so you know you've called it. The moment you don't know if you've called it. You, you, you hope you have, but you don't know. So definitely the... Uh, UI needs a lot of work in the game. Now the they were showing on uh, the Citizen Con demo, you know, like a proper screen and stuff like that. I didn't see if it lit up to do the right things. All right, so that console is not working. Try this one. So, consoles aren't working. Alright. Oh. My ping's gone to 325. Either I'm crashing or the server's crashing. That disconnection, there we go. Ah! Does that mean that I... Does that mean I've lost my... Does that mean I lost that mission? I think that means I lost that mission. Let's try our best. I think that means I've lost that mission. Shit. Okay, so well, maybe we can get some missions around here then. Oh, so now it appears I've connected to a US server. I'm looking at the at the ping, two eighty. So the best server that it reckons for me is the US server. Um, all right, so yeah, I, I lost that mission. From Crusader L4 to Metro Station in Melbourne. Seriously, these pickup and delivery missions are the only ones that have actually worked. Are the only ones I've been able to do.
It's frustrating. Hey, yes, man. Let me give Iceman a quick shout out. Iceman is probably hunting uh, oh, deers again. Hey, yeah, I caught the wild. He was hunting deers. And uh, um, not happy. Not happy. This game is. It's making me angry. Special delivery for Tupper. Naming a steak. Okay, I think this is the one. Well, let's try this. It's Crusader 1. Look where it activated. See now, look at this. You see, this is what this needs. You see, he's got the button there. Now, when you call the elevator, now I believe that's called the elevator. I pressed F. It should light up to let you know that the elevator's on the way. And also, there needs to be some sense of movement when the elevator is actually moving. You know, some sort of UI, like even lights going along the side or something like that. Just to say that the elevator is actually moving and doing something. That. Okay, so now I need to find where the... I want to buy a torpedo burrito. I know you do. But only if you win Cruise Pulse. That will allow you to restore, refill and recharge. Uh, I don't think we can do any of those in game. Definitely can't refill. Oh, no, I think it's a deodorant. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be uh, like a lynx. That's a viewing deck. Oh, here we go. Okay. So. Um, but let's claim this one. They're not going to expedite it. Um, let's claim this one. Fifteen minutes. Okay, so that's going to be the... Do you know what I'm thinking I'm going to do? Should I... Yeah, point is taking the hammerhead in there. Unless I've got people... Uh, we could try the Vanguard, but it's, it's not going to do any damage. That's the problem. Because the, the distortion cannon... I believe are still broken. Have I claimed that I claimed that?
Oh, okay, so then now. Alright, so let's uh, bring this guy. Let me try with this one. We're gonna get killed. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Path 3. I've still got my gun, okay. I lost my gun for some reason. In the in the lot in the at the beginning. Another one. What? Oh, I accepted it. So those are close by. Have a look, see if we can what we can find over here. Ten kilometers out. Let's see what is over here. I 
not seeing anything yet. Nobody around you. What the hell? So I'm lucky to have a hell of a valuable. Those pesky miners. Okay, well, miners are all clear. There's nobody here, there's no pesky miners. So, give us some money, there are no miners. Job's done. Yeah, so this is broken. Okay. Got another one broken. Okay, so I did accept the last one. this game now either I am the unluckiest person playing this game 
bad. I just seem to pick everything that is broken. Or the game is in crappy state. I'm going to go with the game is in crappy state. Yeah, it's... I'm just... I, I just don't understand how people can play this as a game. I mean, I keep on hoping that it will get better. Because it looks great. Yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. And I keep hoping that it will become better, but it's... Just not. That's kind of a problem. Um, the one and only method, I actually have a dual stick setup. Uh, let me, so I've got um, two T1600s. I used to have the, uh, the T600 uh, HODAS, but um, I replaced when the new flight system came out. The throttle was kind of It didn't make any make much sense anymore, so I switched over to a um, using a, a left hand stick for that, and it's actually it's pretty good in that you know you've got your all your strafing and that on the left hand stick and all your flying on the right hand stick, so it makes maneuverability quite nice, it makes it nice nice to fly. So I'll, I do like the dual dual stick setup, and then. Um, I still kind of use, you know, obviously when you go on ground and stuff like that, it's keyboard and mouse. That is actually your point, yeah. So, th this was, this was my throttle. The problem was, you push forward, you push back. I don't know. It just didn't didn't have the it didn't have the right. In elite and before it was great. You know, you push forward, you go maximum speed. You pull back, you're going no, low speed. Now it's got the system where you change your speed limiter, and then. You've kind of you need an accelerator to accelerate up to your speed limiter. <sighs> I suppose you've got to lock on cruise and then use the throttle to change it that way. But that kind of just feels weird. So basically what I've got is I've got the left hand stick, the you know, the the hat switch. The hat switch controls the speed limiter and it's like a full-on strafe stick. So if you push forward, you accelerate. You pull back, you decelerate. And then if you press one of the buttons, it, um, it goes into the cruise mode. Now it's also got... And the one and only Matteo. Matteo? Thank you for the follow and welcome to the Alien Army. You all know my favorite follower. The other thing is both um, both throttles, both sticks have a, you know, like that, the mini, the mini kind of slider on them. And you can use those as well. And then you've also got another throttle for the acceleration slider. So not only can you change the speed cap, 
you're going to change the acceleration cap. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I found it really, really, really hard to play with the throttle. Other people say, no, they don't have a problem and all this sort of stuff. Yeah, for me it was because I I tweak my throttle a lot. I am constantly readjusting my speed and, and stuff like that. You know, I just don't leave the throttle on when in combat my speed's up down all over the place. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, so we out of the there we go. All right, so let's just wait for this quantum thing to... Oh, fuck that. Yeah, well, this, this game dogfighting is is horrible. So, what I've got is my um, hat switch. See that little button there? That's controlling my accelerator. If I push forward, I accelerate. If I pull back, I decelerate. I can, you know... Strafe left, strafe right. And then of course I've got my right hand stick is kind of, you know, the rolls and... And then of course if I use the twist on this one, it's sort of, it's down and it's up. Yeah, stuff like that. And then of course what you can do is you can just press this button and it goes into cruise control. So it will fly up to that part, that point. Locate the target. Okay, so let's see. Have I told you, have I ever mentioned how much I dislike this map? Okay, so... Ah, there it is. Oh, so we are going to jump out there. Well, that map is absolutely, uh, it looks pretty, but it's horrible to navigate with. The map gave me the totally wrong shit again. So it took me, it, it, it was trying to take me through the planet.
No, it's gonna take me too far to go there. I'd love to do a small little quantum blind jump forward, but you can't do that. Can I jump here? Right, so there we go. Oh yeah, Iceman, you know that's a lie. She wasn't that pretty. How are you doing, Mr. Evil? How was, um, you haven't streamed for a couple of days. How was it back streaming again? Excellent. Well, that's excellent. Okay, so that's six hundred kilometers away. Super happy. Did you have a? Did you give yourselves a a good holiday time? Did you dress up all in green and scare the kids? Quantum drive is now off. Alright, so yes. Why not? First two. Isn't that the rule? Targets. Get back to the other down to common speed. Oh, 
I've only, I mean, this is a, a horn that's got a crappy initial loadout. Oh god, I can't see. And these are fixed guns, so I can't gimbal them. So it makes it really hard to target. doesn't seem I mean that pep is bizarre See, this is how bad this combat is. It just feel, just. Now, if you've got a gimbal, then you've got more of a chance of hitting them because it stays on. It all locked, but for fixed weapons, now it's. This is why I don't do combat anymore. Even, am I even hitting him? Hey, shields are all maxed out. Now it might be that the service, that it's the 280 ping that's killing me, I don't know, but it's just, it just feels god I'm awful. It never used to feel this bad on the, well you never used to be able to fight in the PU, or the um, frames. This is giving me 52 frames and I still can't.
Come on, how many frickin' times am I hitting? Ah, come on! This has to be doing something to him! Every frickin' shot he's hitting! And it's doing nothing. Oh, I've got him locked in a circle straight. This is, this is why I don't do combat in this game anymore. Five hundred are you see what? Five hundred are you see? That couldn't have been worth that. What about 4,000? Got the four thousand. Okay. I got the four thousand. But this is what he was uh, playing around with. It looks like an old space station. Now we can go out and we can look at this stuff a bit more, but I don't know much we'll get for doing that. Yeah, let's go have a look at the Salvaging isn't in and they've actually just removed salvaging from the roadmap so we don't know when salvaging is going to be coming into the game. Um, but salvaging isn't supposed to be part of the game. Crap.
Cansa. Don't know if this is going to kill me. I am... <laughs> okay, so... Yep, and so just by touching it killed me. And I lost my side arm. Yeah, and I lost my sidearm as well because I had it in my hand. <laughs> so I've got a second sidearm, so. <laughs> This is a not a game. This is still a tech demo. An alpha of a tech demo. But this is, I still I don't get these people to play this game day in and day out. What the hell do you do? Nothing works. And you see these people in the are chatting about the fueling problem because you can't fuel you can't refuel any of your ships. That's broken. So if you try to go on any uh So basically you have to in order to refuel your ship you have to destroy it. That's how you refuel your ships. So, where is the way to the landing pad? Does he not creepy at all? Nothing creepy about three people sitting on the bench in the locker room pretending to look at their watches when you walk in. Nothing creepy about this in any way. <laughs> it just doesn't exist. Yeah, now, I don't know, I was going to...
stream this tomorrow, I don't think I can. I don't think I can put up with another day of this. I try to do, I try to do a week of, you know, when there's a new patch, I try to do a week playing. I made it through a week of uh, 3.7 and I actually wanted to play more. This one, I am not making a week. All right, let's see. Um, Where the... I've got two of those now. Alright, um... Hunting party. Start looking. Yeah, see, this is another cleaning house. Locust again. First apply alone. Okay. So I'm looking for something where um we actually gotta go to a planet and clear out one of those things. FPS more than I don't know where they are. Maybe if I fly to Hurston. Not the claim jumpers. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to avoid space combat because it's awful. Maybe, I mean, should we try this? Should we try another but go with a different ship? Let's try with a different ship. I don't know I've still got that. Alright, so let's use... Let's use the Cutlass. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Oh god, I didn't see which landing pad it was on. Fuck. Anybody notice what landing pad it was on? Pad 3. Thank you. Uh, there it is. Two and a half kilometers away.
I mean, the station is like two, over two, like, over like three kilometers long. Nuts. Oh, because we went all the way from inside the main building to here. This is a, I don't know, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm not sure about the, um, I'm not sure about this library, the skin. Yep, it's pink. Because... What's worse than being shot by somebody? Being shot by somebody in a pink ship. Person two. Come on, I'm scrolling out with a Ugh. That's a whiz. Gotta go yeah. I do like the cutlass. Uh, it again different from what they originally sold it as. They've made it more of a freighter, but it's still got enough firepower, and still handles well enough to actually do some dog fighting. So that's good. I would have preferred them to have what they had in the original, where this turret wasn't manned. But it's a it's a pretty good ship. Probably probably one of the best ships in the game. Or yeah. It can do pretty much everything. It can take a little bit of cargo. It uh has a bit of multi crew. It can fight. It's you know it's a pretty good ship. I mean, the original concept... Yeah, the original concept... This thing was only slightly bigger than a Hornet. The, the ship that... that uh, is, uh, is, clo is closest to what the original 
Catalyst was, is actually the Avenger Titan now. That is the ship that closely ma that that matches the original sort of closest. I mean, it's got the, you know, it's got the things where you can always, you know, you can leap. Now, the one thing that the ship doesn't have, it doesn't have a toilet. Hey, look at the quantum space go by. Um, I'm closing this because last time I was punching away. Oh, there's the window there. Last time I was punching away and I punched myself right out of the ship and got lost in the middle of space. I could have put a. I, I, I survived. I could have put a uh, beacon for someone to, to rescue me. Your flares are online. Yeah, I mean, the ship looks great, but the, it's just like the problem. The, okay, so the problem with the the no toilet thing is the way they adding in survival mechanics into this day, into this thing. If you don't shower, people will treat you differently. Now this has got beds and stuff like that, so you can do like a. a a long trip on this ship on the ship you know you can be in the ship for a while um so the no toilet thing doesn't make sense now what i would actually do a, a good way to do it is you see how this you get in from this side now if that if that you actually got in from this side um you move these beds to the side over here, you could actually have a toilet in front of that. You know, so a little redesign would fix it. Your flares are online. Okay, so this is the Hurston. Let's see. Next step. Hmm. Should we go see what that bright red stuff is? Yeah, maybe we'll see upwards. the target, the target over there. There is no shower. So yeah, you can't use a shower as a toilet. But that's not there. So he's up there somewhere. Can we find him drive there? Turn thirty four kilometers, we should be able to. There's the target. Well, 
Uh, let's see. Now this one ship has got gimbals. Uh, let's see if this makes it. Oh, so there you go. Jesus. Yeah, basically just need to This basically need to keep it inside the radius. That's the difference with gimbals. That's the difference with gimbals. With gimbals, easy mode. And that's kind of, and that's kind of the problem. It's not worth it to go fix weapons anymore. It's really not. It doesn't pay. Fix weapons are just a waste of time now. That's not good for gameplay. I mean, this ship, what have I got? I think it's uh, size two weapons, that's it. Or have I got size threes? I'm not sure. Oh no, the Cutlass, the Cutlass is one of my favorite ships. Alright, so I got missiles, missiles. Alright, so these are size twos. Those are size twos. Yeah, size twos. Smelly fanboy. Ugh. I've actually been getting so annoyed with the game that I'm, I was, I was actually considering of literally just shutting it down. I won't be do, I won't be playing tomorrow. Today's Thursday. I was going to play on Friday and possibly Saturday, but there's no ways I'm going to be playing this tomorrow. I'll have to find something else to play tomorrow. This is kind of not going to happen. I'm making back some money. Yes. Simple terms, yes. Alright, so let's see. Okay, so what's here? Delivery investigation. Uh, mystery. Hold illegal surveillance. Stolen property. Um. Scour the area. Did not come. Bounty hunter. You see another. Mr. 
missing crew. Um, HTF tossing against a couple of sacraments. I have no idea what this is, but let's take it. Okay. Go to HTS. LA or whatever it is. Okay, now I can't scroll, 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 scroll. Okay, so we want to go there. We could play Ashes. Ashes? You mean... You mean Remnant? Yeah, but are you not... You not here when I start early in the morning? Because you still sleeping. And you've got to... And you've got to feed your kids and shit like that. Quantum drive is now off. I don't need to feed my cats. Because they wake me up like way early. Well, tomorrow if you want to play Remnant, we can start. I mean, what time is that for you? Um, what time is 6 a.m. UTC for you? That's about 6, 6 a.m. Well, if you want to, we can start doing that tomorrow. I, no problem with that. I'm definitely not playing this tomorrow. That's out of the question. That's not going to happen. I. You know, at the end of 3.7, I was kind of, yeah, I could, I could play this more, but I just said a week. But at the end of this one, I'm like, no fucking way. I'm not even. Is yeah, I'm not. Empire at Walmart. Yeah, the Division 2, we could... That's another one we could play. I haven't played that in a while. I mean, tonight we're going to be continuing with Astroneer. Oh, I don't think I played... The, oh, fuck! Oh, it's back. Seven kilometers from there. Now we want to. Um. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
Fuck, where's my... Holy crap. How the heck am I going to get in there? So smooth. <sighs> so smooth. Ah, oh, fuck now, I'm going to fly all the way there again. Son of a bitch. It really doesn't feel... Yeah, I'm not trying to see if doing FPS combat, but I've got to do the flying to get to the FPS combat, and the flying just feels... Ugh, at the moment. It really does. So you can't lock onto the turrets. <sighs> that doesn't work. The turrets become a fixed... I mean, every and what another annoying thing is the chat. So I remove the chat, but every freaking time I do anything, like I do this, ah, the chat didn't come back. Ooh. The chat will be back. If I get in my ship, the chat will be back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You go like that. Chat and the chat should come back. I must have changed it. It keeps coming back for me. All right, uh, claim. Um, Did we take the Super Hornet? Yeah, why not? Working set 5.7 megabytes committed 18 megabytes 17 peak 18. I mean, I've got 32 gigabytes. No, 18 gigabytes.
Okay, so this is the Super Hornet. Which has got some gimbaled stuff. Okay, and gimbals are useless if you're going against ground targets. Why? I don't know, but... Fuck, wrong button. It's just the way it is. It was the, uh, the turrets. I have a feeling we're hovering over the landing pad. Yes, with landing gear up, with landing gear down. Uh, you try to be feeling with, you know, when you spawn the ship. And, um, and you don't turn it, anything on. Try to be feeling with that. Try to be feeling turning everything on. Try to be feeling landing at a non-invited landing pad. Uh, leaving the station coming back to the station try tried refueling uh dancing around touching your toe to your left ear uh tried refueling with my hands behind my back while i was naked in a cold shower tried refueling while the left toe was out of the window and the right hand was in the freezer grabbing some um, frosted meat and the right hand was fiddling the mouse while the right leg was on a skateboard and that didn't work <laughs> so, no, it doesn't work uh, you can't refuel you just can't refuel The only way I could actually get fuel in my ship is if I go to a different station and claim the ship or, get, or destroy the ship. The problem with that is it's filled with goods that I bought. So that's not an option. So I'm stuck with the ship parked at Crusader... Hurston L4. The ship is parked at Hurston L4. And, um. I can't reach any other station. Because I can't refill. <laughs> it's like. And it's full, and it's full of stuff. This patch is incredibly broken. Yeah, but how am I going to transfer the stuff from one ship to the other ship? You can't even do that. I can't sell the stuff on the road, road thing either. It's so pretty much by trying to do cargo. I screwed, screwed up the entire gameplay experience. Not that there is much of an experience. But yeah, it's um, 
This is absolutely, absolutely broken. Hey, alien. Yeah, so now we've been trying to do some combat. Going with fixed weapons is a waste of time. You have to go with gimbals. And um, I'm trying to do a ground-based thing now. I have to try to take up these turrets. But combat at the moment feels... In ships, it feels so horrible. It really does. I remember combat in like the two series, which was the last series that I really did space combat, because the last one that actually felt alright, you know, it actually had the frames to do it. Not the universe, but the arena commander and stuff like that. And even in the universe wasn't awful if you got into a new server. Um, three series combat has just been atrocious. And it actually feels like it's getting worse, which has me extremely worried for Squadron 42. If the space combat is this bad, in Squadron 42, you've just destroyed the whole reason for Squadron 42. So there needs to be some drastic changes to, um, to space combat. I mean drastic changes to make it actually feel good. Ah, uh, stop. Yeah, there were people over there. I mean, they did release a video of um, of visuals from Squadron Forty Two, and as expected, the visuals look. The visuals look great. Oh, fuck. Oh. Alright, so I got out of bed and now...
this is what the game has been like for me. This is my time in 3.8. People say why I'm uh, so hard on the game. Well, <laughs> look what I have to deal with whenever I try to play it. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Wait, chat, I don't want you. Uh, right. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to take a hammer hit. Just stop. That is definitely becoming an option. Now the hammer is useless for a single person. You need to actually have people in it for it to be anything. But I'm going to use it to get... It's a, nice, it's a nice ship. It's a really awesome ship. She's kind of a loner because I've got the Polaris. See, the textures aren't quite done. Actually, ever so little, no, yeah, I lost all that other stuff I had. Great, so, yeah, so you can't actually do it from here, you have to go...
Aegis combat assist activated. Let's have this. <laughs> oh, crap, 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 There needs to be like a camera key or something. Pretty awesome looking ship this one. Ah, now the problem with this one let's go back into it. Fuck see there comes chat again. He's you've got no guns. You've got no pilot controlled guns. Oh wait when I'm so in the uh get out of the Let's get out of the out of the uh, armistice zone. Okay, out of the armistice zone. Okay. So, it, no pilot controlled guns at all. So you you have to rely on other people for this. So I'm going to go to Hurston. I want to go to Everest Harbour. That's above Hurston. We will um, land on that one. Land on that one and then if we respawn, we respawn on that one. I mean, it's a... No, why is the uh, missiles open at the bottom? See, there's your pilot over there. See how small I am? To the rest of the ship. See, Chuck comes back again. So while it's flying, let's go take a quick tour of the ship. Right, so this is the um, the cockpit. Now if we go up, right, you've got at the front of the ear, you've got an airlock that leads out. You've got the airlock that's up, then you've got 
on the two sides here you've got kind of the sort of uh, turrets. Now the thing about the turrets is this is what's interesting. Look how that turret is pushing out. See how it pushes out. They stay in and then once you get in it pushes out. So the reason for that is if I turn this turret on the, I have got a, a very big motion of movement. You know, a huge motion of movement. So if you fly this right, you can actually have most of your turrets on other ships constantly. The problem is, let's uh, get out of this. Uh, so yeah, it retracted. The problem with it is, um, yeah, the problem with the with that is is the turrets are really good against small ships. Oh, that's the cockpit, but you know, and smaller ships. Is the anti fighter ship is not really good against large ships. Oh, so that's kind of that hole in the middle. Oh, then we come down here. And there's the second set of turrets. You know, the back turret. Mirrored on the other side. And there's a another turret. There's another turret um, at the top there. And over here you've got your captain's cabin with the ready room, the bed, bathroom. Um, that's another turret. What is that? That is a turret, isn't it? I think that's a bottom turret. Uh, you've got a small little engineering room. Uh, crew quarters. So another crew quarters. So that's the crew quarters. Uh, at the back you've got like a small cargo area. And engine room. Uh, and another turret. You've also got... Uh, what's up here? Another room up there. But there was something. There's a second deck. Must be at the back. I can't remember this ship completely. Over here. Not yet. Ah, oh, so here you've got the second deck where you've got the crew mess. Um, and storage, fridge or whatever it is, supplies. And this goes, oh, into another turret.
Let me So you got four? Now, of the cargo, that whole back grab does go down. So, um, so that opens up. So that is a way in and out the ship. This, this, so this is turret. Come on, go up. You know what? I am going to call it over there. And I'll be back. I'll be back in about uh, two and a half hours time for some astronaut. Right now tomorrow, um, hold on, so I'll speak to you later, but tomorrow we could, uh, if you want to, we could start Remnant. But I won't be playing, I won't be playing SE tomorrow. I'm done with this patch. Yeah, I am. When it comes to this, I am. I've been frustrating enough. So, uh... So that's it all right guys uh thanks for hanging about sorry didn't we didn't get an actual good gameplay but uh the game just doesn't want good gameplay <laughs> it's that simple uh, i'm sure other stream i'm sure other sc streamers that actually know how to avoid the bugs are having a better time I'm not a full-time Messi streamer, so it's not something I know how to avoid and uh, all the workarounds and everything else. I'm just trying to play it as a game and it doesn't work. So that's where we're going to leave it today. I'll catch you all later. Thanks for joining. Bye.